so when I received the phone call from the police department, the first thing I, I wanted to do was what I'm doing right now is find a private place. And I talked to them and I just said, they gave me all the information. And I just said, I just want to let you know, I, I honestly thank you. Good evening and thanks for joining us. That's former Dothan television and radio personality Mitch English, beloved by many right here in the Wiregrass, talking about what he felt when police told him they had captured his son's murderer. Jealousy and rage, according to police in Edmond, Oklahoma, motivated a man to murder Mitch's son, Sawyer, last month. Abigail Ogle tonight details the possible love tri triangle that brought a tragic end to a young life. These are two people that I have never heard of. The two people he's referring to, George Watson and Lindsay Mayab. I never heard Sawyer ever mention these two names before. Edmond police say they got a tip that led them straight to the suspects. Someone by the name of George was upset um, that Sawyer had had a relationship with a woman named Lindsay. And police say after seeing all of the news coverage of Sawyer's murder, the two fled to Florida. That's where officers used a sting operation to confront Lindsay Mayab through an escort service. And she admitted that George was enraged of a relationship that she had had with Sawyer. And that wasn't all she told police. He had told um, Lindsay that he was going to shoot Sawyer. Police say George Watson demanded she drive him to Sawyer's home so he could kill him. She stayed in the car. George um, said that he had shot Sawyer through the window. The arrest now bringing a bit of relief to Sawyer's father. But to know that they are looking out for my little boy brings a little bit of satisfaction to me. And the pair faces extradition back to Oklahoma from the state of Florida. That's a story we'll continue to update you on in the future. Two